Thank you. Hey, Chattanooga, what up? Um, I like your town. I, I like that you feel comfortable knowing who you think you are. Uh, you advertise yourself as this city where come and bike and hike and be awesome. And your Iron Man triathlon is sponsored by Little Debbie. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Um, is the uh, diabetes fun run by Moon Pie? Uh, is that what we're doing? Anyway, a little about me. I feel great tonight. I just want to let you know that on the front end, uh, I found a Xanax I forgot I had. Uh, I, I didn't take it. Uh, I just keep it near me in case things go wrong. Uh, you know, it's like a little parachute uh, for me. I, uh, was, uh, I was diagnosed several years ago with depression, uh, but I also have ADD, uh, which means I have the ability to not care about a lot of things all at once. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm on the road a lot as a comic. I drive. I've been putting a lot of miles on the, uh, the minivan. I have to buy a new used car. Uh, for me, and uh, it, it's brought up some interesting uh, moral questions uh, for me when I'm buying a used car, which is basically the main one I'm working on right now is how soon after I buy the car am I allowed to scrape off the immemorial sticker on the back window? <laughs> Here's what I've learned. Wait till you get home. Don't do it in their driveway. Uh, some people think that's rude. I, uh, that's fun. I, I, uh, I got married, I think, since the last time I was here. Uh, that's, I was here early in the year. I've been married. I got married now. This is, not, this is real. I found, I found a woman who thinks gout is sexy, uh, so that's nice. That's fun. I have three kids now. I have three kids. Uh, well, two. we lost the middle kid this year uh, in the summer uh, to Fortnite. And that's kind of weird. I, I was hoping. I didn't know what Fortnite was. I, 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 th I thought it was porn. I kind of wish it was porn. Uh, I had a speech for porn. Now I just yell up at the stairs. I know what you're not doing up there, and I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm 49 years old. I'm uh, getting it's an interesting time for me to be a parent for the first time at 49 and uh, to, to be dealing with all these things. And one of the things I'm realizing at 49 is that there are several important things about this age and the milestone one that's coming right up is. At 49 and 50, I am too old to die young uh, at this point. I mean, if I died tonight, uh, my friends would have this conversation. They say, oh, did you hear about Shane? Say, no, no one. Shane died. Oh, that seems right. Good <laughs> uh, thing. It's interesting for me being this old. Things I didn't think about so getting older, I didn't consider as a possibility. One thing for me is I've realized I'm getting older, and I don't know how you all are dealing with this at your ages, but for me it's starting to happen, is I am friends with like double-digit dead people on Facebook now. Uh, a lot of dead people are my friends on Facebook, and uh, I don't know what to do with it. I accidentally uh, invited a, a dead friend uh, to an event uh, on Facebook. A lot of people were upset with me, uh, and I said, well, I don't know what to do about this. Uh, I wasn't trying to be, uh, you know, uh, Jerk or anything. I just, it was an honest mistake. I just clicked a name that was similar to another name and forgot. What I really should do is unfriend all my dead people, my dead friends. Uh, but people get upset with me when I talk about that. You can't unfriend your dead friends on Facebook. And I'm like, well, why not? Because that seems like the ideal time to unfriend people on Facebook. For starters, they don't know, right? There is no conversation you have to have awkwardly about why you unfriend me. Why'd you unfriend me? Well, because, here's the thing though, I've learned from my mistake, I now have someone in charge of my will who when I die, they take over my Facebook account. Their only job is to respond to event requests. There's maybe. You're like, hey, you going to a Tyler's party? No, I want to think about it. You really should go. Why? Shane might be there. Shane's been dead for like five years. I know. <laughs> no. I don't know if it's like a zombie situation or some monkey's paw wish just going completely wrong. But I'm going to Tyler's party. That's how I'm going to see where this goes. The thing about getting older, though, is 
is I, I'm at a place, but again, I, I feel comfortable at my age. I feel comfortable talking about the darker sides of getting older. Uh, I, because here's the thing, I like to try things in life. I, I want to embrace it all. I realize at this point, you know, the clock truly is running out. When I turn 50 in January, I know that I'm going to wake up and look under my pillow, and there will be a Bob Seger record uh, right there <laughs> waiting for me. Autumn is closing in. And uh, but the thing is, that when I get older, I realize I, want to, I just want to try it all. And so I started doing comedy when I was 45 years old. I, started, I got married and had, you know, became a father at 49 years old. When I die, I want people to say about me that I died doing exactly what I love, which is having strangers pump my chest and blow into my mouth. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what your fetish is, but that's the one that gets my heart racing. <laughs> so, there's that. My age, commercials start to mean something now. I have to take them seriously. Uh, all the prescription medicines are now marketed to me. Uh, and I know that because they're playing all my favorite music during these ads now. <laughs> I can no longer listen to Fleetwood Mac without worrying about COPD. <laughs> I am concerned for Lindsey Buckingham uh, at this point. Most importantly, though, I found that, thank you. I found that there are some uh, good ads out there that I really have to pay attention to. I think you know the ones, the, uh, the erectile dysfunction ads. Uh, I don't need them yet. It doesn't matter. I can't afford them. So I always look for useful generic substitutions. And I found them. I found, and guys, I'll share this with you as well if you ever need it. The perfect generic substitution for Viagra is a TV show on the Discovery Channel called Airplane Repo. I don't know if you've seen this show. It, an airplane repo is all about rich people getting their shit taken away from them. <laughs> they take their speedboats and their sports cars and their private airplanes and they take them away from them. I stumbled onto a, a marathon episode series of it. I was hard for six hours. <laughs> I came twice and never touched myself. I have no idea why this is not the number one show in America. My name is Shane Ryan. Thank you very much. <laughs>